Public Housing Agency taking action after a resident complained about a bug infestation in his unit. This happening at Isabella Towers. That's an affordable housing complex operated by Knoxville's Community Development Corporation. Well, someone who lives there, Richard Smith, sharing these images with us of bait traps. He says accumulating hundreds of bugs over just one week's time in his apartment. Mm. On your side tonight, reporter Elizabeth Kubel meeting with Smith, who's now thrilled by KCDC's decision to implement change. Isabella Towers, home for Richard Smith for a few months now. Uh, there's one up here in the corner. But his apartment, also home to some unwelcome visitors. I've had them crawl on my food, uh, crawl on me when I'm sleeping at night, crawling on my face. We snapped these pictures in Smith's apartment today. A much better scenario, he says, than in weeks past. Smith raising his voice a few days ago, fed up with the situation. I started the petition at change.org to encourage the Housing and Urban Development Department and, and KCDC also to, to take action on this. And uh, also, I created a YouTube channel and uh, made a lot of videos, you know, with the bugs. KCDC saying they heard Smith's complaints loud and clear. Immediately taking action, they say, going in and treating every unit on his wing, both yesterday and today. Plus, they say they've got more things planned for the future, too. One of the things we want to make sure of is that we always have a staff member with that uh, person doing the, the um, treatment to make sure that's being done properly and that we can um, talk to the residents and get feedback from them. Currently doing treatment at Isabella quarterly and weekly if there's a complaint. As we move forward, we're going to be meeting with staff, residents, and um, our pest control provider to make sure that is quarterly enough? Do we need more? Do we need less? Those efforts, music to Smith Sears. I'm very delighted right now to be working with them to make this a better place. Uh, to make it cleaner and more healthy for the people here. Mr. Smith was great. He was uh, very positive. We, we want to have that relationship with their residents to where we can work together to provide the most livable, safe, and sustainable place for them. In Knoxville, Elizabeth Kubel, WATE 6 on your side. Now, KCDC officials telling us they will revisit Smith's wing of that complex sometime next week and do several treatments if they have to. Now, they're hoping to do a complete treatment of the entire building sometime within the next few weeks. We'll keep you posted on that.